What's good everyone, it's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video and today we're going to take a look at the new Baby Audio Humanoid plugin. It's a new vocal effects plugin and you guys know I love doing stuff with vocals so we gotta check it out. Not sponsored by the way, I did get the plugin sent to me for free, not from Baby Audio so they have no control about anything I can or cannot say in this video. Let's get to it. Alright, so you know we're going to have to lay down a vocal sample, but first let's lay down some keys, some chords, just to, you know... That's a nice foundation. All right, let's sing a vocal on this. Alright, that wasn't the best, but I think that's good enough to test out the plugin. Alright, so here we're on the plugin, but before we do anything, let's uh, set this to C minor, because that's where we are at. And then before I flip through some presets, I'm going to hit lock. So if you don't hit lock right here, each preset has its own key assigned to the preset. But if you hit lock, no matter what you do, this is locked in. <laughs> I'm turning the reverb plugin back on because it doesn't seem like uh, this is adding any reverb or anything. So that way, nothing sounds super dry and it's more comparable to our recorded vocal. Not bad. That's a lot of presets. Oh, there's different types of presets too. Let's go through uh, these vocoder presets. Stuff. That is tough. What they got in here? Synths. Oh, it just straight up turns your vocal to a synth. Well, you might add like a little lead with that. Or just instrument one, Sue? All right, let's go back to that harmony. I think it was this. I'm gonna smooth it out though. Not bad, not bad. I think that's what we're gonna roll with. Going on bass. I did see there's a bass preset. Let's see what these uh, bass presets be looking like. Interesting. Let's change this to D minor. Honestly, this could be tough, but just not for what we're going with right now. But I could definitely hear myself using something like this just to give that that bass like some extra character. Not in a beat like this though. This one's kind of supposed to be smooth, but 
if I'm really trying to get that gritty sound, or even if I'm trying to start with a bass, I could definitely hear myself doing some stuff like. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm not gonna use it for this. I'm gonna turn it off because it doesn't really fit the vibe we're going for. It just shows that what this can do. Kind of want to sing in a, a lead. We're going to do this uh, Invaders Must Lead. I also filtered it out a little bit with the EQ. There's a lot of high end. I kind of want to try and make it blend a little bit more. Let's see what we come up with. Not gonna lie, that was a terrible take. I'm not gonna do another one, but it kind of shows what it can do. Let's just switch through some presets. I just wanna hear what else it sounds like. I think that turns your voice to a bass. Not too bad. Honestly, not too bad. If I had a better vocal take, it would definitely sound better, but it is what it is. All right, now let's do a deep dive of the plugin, see what we can do with it. All right, so here we are. There are five different areas. The first is the pitch, which is obviously exactly what you think it is. It's the pitch. You set your pitch. And there's a few other things you can do with it as well. The Quantize and Robotify is kind of essentially your auto-tune controls. So for my auto-tune users, Quantize essentially retune speed while Robotify is humanize. Well, it's called Robotify because that's kind of like the opposite of humanize, to be honest, but it's doing the same thing. And you got Form and Shifter also, which is kind of, you know, what little Alter Boy does for vocals and stuff like that. So I like that it does that. And then you go to your main area. This is the synthesize. This is essentially exactly what you think. It's putting your vocal through a synth. And now if you go this way, it becomes more robotic, as you see, or more human. This is the waveform. You can pick your waveform and it shows it there as well. And then you can take your synthesized vocal, shift the notes, change the octaves, and you have a dry wet down here, which is how we get those harmonies. So if you go all the way up. Right, it's just one vocal. But if you blend in the original, you get a harmony. Also, we have this utility down here. Now, the plugin seems to move left to right. So it goes from here, here, to here, and then to here. So the utility is kind of what the pitch is using. So for example, you have your range. The tighter the range, the better the plugin will probably work because it focuses, like it says right there, it focuses the efforts on a narrower range. So if you have a wider range, the plugin has to do more and like cover the whole range. You also have a built-in de and a gate, you know, de for the S's, gate in case you have some like, crazy background noise. And then smoothing, this is uh, reducing harshness. After the pitch and the synthesizer, it goes into the filter, which obviously is a filter. It's filtering what it sounds like, you know what I mean? Obviously there's not as much stuff as you can do with like Pro-Q or anything like that, but it's a nice little feature to have just to really get to that sound you want. Finally, you have the effects. You can widen it, only available on stereo tracks. Uh, my vocal was recorded in mono. That's why that comes up. Warble, is just, And then freeze. It just freezes whatever you have at the moment. And yeah. 
this plugin is pretty cool. It's definitely not a plugin I'm gonna use too often, but I will use it when I'm looking for specific vocal effects, and that's honestly what it's made for. What I wish you could do is use kind of things individually. I mean, I guess if you reset everything you could. So for example, say I only wanna use the pitch correction. I guess I could turn this to zero, and then the filter I would have to reset. I guess right there, I'm only using the pitch correction. So you could do that. But I wish there was an easier way, you know, put a little uh, bypass knob on, on each of these. That way I can just bypass the filter, bypass the effects, bypass the utility. I mean, I can't, you guess you can't really bypass the utility. But, uh, but yeah, that's Humanoid by Baby Audio. Pretty cool plugin. Definitely not a plugin that I would reach for often, but it's definitely a plugin I would reach for if I'm trying to go for that specific sound. So if you're looking for something to turn that vocal into the synthetic sound, you know, those vocoder effects, if you want to sing in a lead or something like that, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Now I know this built-in pitch correction, but I wouldn't pick this plugin up just because you need some like pitch correction plugin. I don't think it's built for that, nor would I recommend doing that. At the time I'm making this video, it is a new plugin, so there is an intro price linked down below. But that's it for this one. If you like the beat, like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know exactly what you think. Subscribe for more videos. Be sure to check out my social medias and my music on all streaming platforms as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. They don't know what it takes for you to chase your dreams. All these sacrifices don't know what it brings. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. This just feels so right, feels so right, yeah. Blinded by the light.